Hey guys, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Pro system to inflate the lower extremity. So my leg is about 24 inches in circumference, my upper thigh, so I'm going to use the large cuff. I can either put it through the D-ring and then I want I want that stem to be facing forward or the valve. I'm going to bring it up as high as I can go. I'm going to open up those flaps so that they're easy to access. I'm going to bring this up as high as I can get it. And then I'm going to tighten it as much as I can. So you can see that those little wings are on the outside and that will prevent the cuffs at high pressures from scissoring. So I got one on and now I'm going to put this other one on. cinch it as tight as I can go and I've got the little wings and I close the little wing on that side and then I'm going to close the little wing on the other side. So I've got these up as high as possible. Now I have two pro units so it would be considered the pro elite system so I'm going to use both at the same time to save time. I'm going to plug one in I'm going to plug the other in. I'm going to have even pressure through both feet. If I put more weight on one side, I'm going to get more contraction of the leg. I'll probably get a higher limb occlusion pressure necessary. So I want to be even pressure through both feet. So I'm going to try to turn these so you can see. So I'm going to start exercise. Then I'm going to go to leg. So I'm going to scroll down to leg. Then I'm going to go personal pressure. Okay, and right now I have it at 30%. In the lower extremity, we do anywhere between 60 and 80% limb occlusion pressure. So I'm gonna bump that up. I'm gonna go to 60%. Oops, I went a little too far on that right one. Okay, so I'm at 60%. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to stay still. And these are going to calculate now my arterial occlusion pressure or limb occlusion pressure, same terminology. And it's going to then deflate all the way and then reinflate back to 60% of my LOP. I'm going to look and see what those pressure numbers are and record those in my chart. So the next time I use the cuffs, I can then just do manual pressure on that initial screen and go directly to the percentage of LOP that I want to, the actual number, and it'll be much faster. So we do find the LOP on your clients or your patients initially. It'll take a couple minutes, especially if you, only have, if you have two cuffs, it'll be a little faster, or two pumps and then record that. And then you only really need to find the pressure again if you're changing the body position. So this is gonna be the most pressure being in an upright position because my muscles are contracting to keep me upright. If I was to go into a seated position I would and do seated exercise, I would want the pressures for seated. And if I was going into a lying position, I would want the pressures in lying. So, this usually just takes a minute or so. It's calculating. I'm trying to stay as still as I can and still speak with you. And then it's going to deflate. And you're seeing this one on my right side's already found it. It's deflating all the way down. And then it's going to reinflate back to that 60% LOP. And I'll do the same thing on the left side. 
Now I had a torn ACL on my right leg, so I would expect my LOP to be a little bit lower on my right side because I don't have quite the circumferential measurement that I do on my left. It's pretty close, but not exact. We're almost there, okay. So pretty close in timing on both sides. My right one is inflating now to the pressure and it says my LOP on that side is 238 millimeters of mercury. I would write that down. And I'm just waiting for this left one now to pump all the way up. Now I have a choice when these are finished to do auto regulation. I could either scroll down and keep the pumps or the keep the pumps connected and do auto regulation or I can just stay just like this and disconnect. So if I if I disconnect I can now go into my exercise. If I want to stay and have this auto regulate I would keep them connected, scroll to auto-regulate, and now those pressures, I can keep them going in and out. So the pumps are now auto-regulating the pressure. So as I go down, that limb occlusion pressure is gonna go up and I can, and it's auto-regulating the pressures, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. If I disconnect, the pressure stays the same no matter if I'm contracted or relaxed with the muscle, and so you'll get more tension when the muscles are fully contracted. I would recommend doing auto-regulation, especially the first few sessions with somebody. It's much more comfortable. And as people get used to the pressures, then you can start disconnecting. Or of course, if you're going into the pool or you're on a bike or you're on a treadmill and these are getting in the way, then you just want to disconnect. So hopefully that helps you get started doing lower extremity BFR with the Gen 2 Pro Cuffs.